Material design is an adaptable design system backed by open source code that helps you build beautiful, usable products faster. This year, we've expanded material design with our biggest ever update to the system. In this video, we're going to learn about Material Theme Editor, part of our Sketch plugin that helps you take advantage of material design's stylistic flexibility, customizing material components to craft a unique, branded symbol library that you can use to keep all your designs consistent. In this video, we'll build a custom theme together from start to finish. First, we need to download and install the plugin. You can grab it from material.io. Once it's downloaded, just find the file and double click to install it in Sketch. Now let's start a new project. In Sketch, go to Plugins and select Theme Editor. Once the plugin is open, you'll see a list of themes. These include pre-built example themes to start with, and any themes you create on your own will show up here too. For now, let's just hit Start with Baseline. The plugin will tell us about what we're about to do, so we'll just press OK, and then choose where to save our new theme and what it should be called. In this video, we're going to build a theme similar to our example app Shrine, so let's call the theme Shrine Desbytes, and continue. So now our theme has been saved and we can get going. On the color tab, we can see that our new theme comes with a purple and teal color scheme. Theme Editor automatically uses these colors to generate tonal palettes, giving us lighter and darker options that will work with components and text across the app. Let's change our color scheme. We'll put in FCB8AB, which is Shrine's primary color. And you'll see Theme Editor gives us a tin shade palette, so you can adjust your primary color up or down and see the light and dark shades update too. While we're here, we'll change our secondary color too. Let's choose a color from the default material swatches this time. I'll choose this deep orange. Now if we take a look around our document, you'll notice that the components have automatically updated with our new colors. And next we're going to set a custom shape. Right now you can see our sticker sheet comes with the default rounded corners, but Theme Editor lets you manipulate all four corners to create a custom branded shape for your app. When we click over to the Shape tab, you'll see some controls. You can manipulate all four corners at once, or just select one at a time. For now, let's change all four corners. We can change from rounded to clipped, and for this theme, we want to set the corner radius to about eight based on Shrine. Looking around our custom sticker sheet, you can see that updated all the button components live, and our theme is really starting to take shape. If we move over to the typography tab, you'll see that our theme comes with Android system font Roboto by default. But for this theme, we want to use custom typography, so let's add a typeface. In this case, we're going to go with Rubik, once we add the font, you can see that all of our type styles here have been automatically populated with different styles from the Rubik family. And Theme Editor actually takes a look at the font's existing metrics and makes automatic adjustments to optical size and spacing to maintain legibility across the entire typographic scale. Then if we take a look around our sticker sheet, you'll see that Theme Editor has applied that scale to all of our components. So now we're ready to insert our freshly customized components into a layout. So I'll open our layout file, which I've already set up with a few basic bits and pieces then you can find all our customized components right in Sketch's normal insert menu. And once you start inserting components, you'll notice that each one has a bunch of symbol overrides here on the right. And you can use these like you would any other symbol override to customize specific instances of each component. So if we want this particular button to be deep orange, we can just click this dropdown and select it from the list of theme colors that we set up earlier. And since this is a button, we need to also think about its different states. And we can grab those from the same menu and they're styled to match the rest of our theme. So now we've got a pretty good looking theme set up that uses a bunch of material subsystems to express its own unique personality. But design is never done. We can go back to our theme file anytime and using Theme Editor, make tweaks and adjustments to our components. And once we save those changes, any sketch file using those components can sync the same changes too. Soon, Theme Editor will be able to help us theme system icons, choosing from five customized sets of material system icons that match our brand's personality. For now, you can find all five sets of material.io or learn how to create your own in the material guidelines. Theme Editor will also support custom elevation systems, allowing you to use Material's notion of surfaces in the z-dimension as an expressive element in your apps. Learn more about Theme Editor by visiting material.io and subscribe to our channel for more design bites and other videos. Thanks for watching.